Good morning everyone. Today we will discuss A, B and C part of chapter number 4, the motion of the earth of class 6. So I hope you all are ready. So everyone please take out your book and notebook fast and before starting please like, share and subscribe my channel. So I'm going to start now. Come to question number A, means A part, tick the correct option. Question number 1. On 2nd December, the sun rays are vertical at Here is 4 option, the Tropic of Cancer, 2nd Tropic of Capricorn, uh, Equator and Arctic Circle. So option B, the Tropic of Capricorn is the correct answer. So on uh, as I've told you about the 2nd December, the the sun rays are vertical where in the southern hemisphere. So it is Tropic of Capricorn because in the southern uh, hemisphere, Tropic of Capricorn lies in the southern hemisphere. Now come to question number two. Which statement about a leap year is incorrect? So option one is it has 366 days in a year. This is correct. B. One extra day is added in forwardy. This is also correct. C. February has 28 days. This is not correct. This is incorrect. And come to fourth option. It comes in every fourth year. This is also correct. So what is the answer? Here is asking about the incorrect one. So option C is the correct option. Now come to question number three. If there is known one side of the earth, the opposite side will have what? So option A is morning, no. Option B, evening, no. Option C, midnight, yes. And option D, twilight, no. So what is the correct answer? Option C is the correct answer. Now come to question number 4. On 23rd September midday, sun is overhead at the equator. Option A, equator. Option 2, Tropic of Cancer, no. Option C, Tropic of Capricorn, no. And option D, Antarctic Circle. So what is the correct answer? Equator. Equator is the correct answer. Now, come to question number 5. The angle of the sun ray on 21st June on the Tropic of Cancer is Tropic of Cancer on the 20, uh, 21st June, that is 23 and half degree north. So what is the degree 23 and half degree clear so c option is the correct answer now come to b part fill in the blanks so question number one is the earth revolves around the sun in a fixed path called as orbits the earth revolves around the sun in a fixed path is called orbits the spelling of orbit is o r b i t s now come to question number two the angle of inclination of the earth's axis is what is the angle that is 66 and half degree but we can also write tilted with its orbital plane so the angle of the inclination of the earth axis is 66 and half degree with its orbital plane now come to question number three two motions of the earth are first one rotation that causes day and night and second one Revolution that causes changes of seasons. Now come to question number four. The time period immediate before sunrise is called town. The time period immediate before the sunrise. This is called town. Now come to question number five. The earth complete one revolution around the sun is 365 days and how many hours? Six hours and that six hours means we added 6 hours in 4 years that makes 6 4 are 24 hours and it makes 1 day that is after the 4 years what comes leap years clear to all now come to C part mass the column the duration of the day and night is equal in both the hemisphere equal in both the hemisphere on when 23rd September and 21st of March now come to question number two. The Arctic Circle has six month long days in Arctic Circle has six month long days in summer solstice. Now come to question number three. Tropic of Capricorn is located in 
Tropic of Capricorn is located in which hemisphere? Southern hemisphere. Now, come to question number 4. The rays of the sun are vertical on Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn. On 21st June and 22nd December respectively. Now, come to question number 5. A spring equinox is also called Spring equinox is also called that is T option that is vernal equinox. So we have completed C part also. And the series of the answer is 3, 4, 2, 5, 1. So now tomorrow we will discuss T part, E part and value based question. So today what you all have to do? Simply you have to write A, B and C part in the notebook. Thank you for watching.